Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 18th. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid. I am doing this daily reading for the 18th, but there are no times. There are no, uh, you know, uh, timing is universal okay it doesn't mean that the minute you watch it, it's gonna resonate or even that day it may be a couple days out okay this reading may or may not be for you this reading is not sign specific and I'm saying that this time because I get a lot of questions who's this for this is for somebody this reading is for somebody I don't know who it may or may not be for you it's a daily energy for the 18th probably for the collective okay so, uh, I have been away. Yes, I have been away. I have been on vacation. And when I'm on vacation, I do not work. I'm back. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. And here we go. What do we have for the 18th? Ah, the universe. This is the world card reversed. And we are going to take this reverse. If this comes out reversed, we're not going to take it. We're going to, this is going to be upright. But anyway, um, <laughs> feeling incomplete. You know, somebody may be feeling incomplete. They may be feeling like they are lacking closure. There may be a feeling of emptiness. Um... It's like there's a major new beginning right around the corner. It's right around the corner. If Are there any corners in the world? I mean, it's here. You have the opportunity for a new beginning with the first step. But you got to take the step, right? you got to take the step. But anyway, somebody needs to take a step. They, that's that message right there. Somebody needs to take a step. There's, a, there's an opportunity to... Enter a whole new world, but you gotta, you do, you gotta take that step. That's what I keep hearing. There's a lack of closure. There's unfinished business, perhaps. Maybe somebody needs to do something to to allow them to start their new life to allow them to succeed some there's something that needs to be finished up something is unfinished and maybe it's some things aren't meant to be finished i mean they aren't I mean, sometimes things uh, are better left unsaid. It, it really, they are. Um, there could be an ending, I have to tell you. Something, something could end without another person getting adequate closure. Something could come to an abrupt end and you don't get the closure. Or that has happened. We need a bunch more cards to go with that. Patience, patience, patience. Now, whenever I see that clock, I think of the time is now. I just do. That clock right there tells me the time is now. Somebody has been waiting for something. They've been waiting. Patiently waiting, perhaps, or maybe not so patiently. I don't know. But that's time. It's time. It's time for a new beginning. It's time. It's time to take that step into the unknown. One card for the 18th. Judgment. Well, it couldn't get any better than that. Now, could it? Judgment. This is awareness. This is a wake-up call. 
This is something being revealed, some sort of truth being revealed. This is rising, rising from the ashes. It's Judgment Day. Are you awake? Are you seeing a situation clearly? This is a card of releasing as well. Releasing and forgiving. It's time for renewal. It's time to live again. This is a card of forgiveness and acceptance and absolution. This is an awakening of some sort. Something is about to be revealed. Some sort of something that has been hidden is about to be revealed very soon. Very, very soon. There could be some unfinished business. There could be some unfinished business. You know, somebody could be leaving. I gotta be honest with you. Okay? Somebody could be leaving. I heard without saying goodbye. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> or they had, or they did, and now they want forgiveness because this is a card of forgiveness. It is. Think about Judgment Day. I was brought up Catholic, by the way. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm spiritual now. But Judgment Day. Forgiveness. So a need for forgiveness. Forgiveness, no closure. Healing. I mean, patience, it takes time to heal. So we have some healing here. This is healing as well. We have some healing that is happening or is going to happen. What do we got for the 18th? Somebody has been waiting for something. Ooh! Oh, look what flipped over in the deck. So it's reversed. Somebody has been not telling the truth. Somebody has been keeping a secret. Somebody has been getting some karma. Yeah, they've been living in their own karma because of their past mistakes, you know, their misjudgments, whatever. Oh. <sighs> Self-loathing, lack of awareness, asleep. They've been asleep. Not accepting, not forgiving, miserable. Yeah, yeah, well. Ooh, son of a you-know-what. I can't say it at the beginning of the video. Judgment, patience. This is temperance. This is temperance as well. As far as, I don't need the number. This is temperance as well. Judgment upright, judgment reversed. Temperance reversed, temperance upright. Oh boy, we have some contradictions here. We do have some contradictions. Back and forth, roller coaster ride, up and down, up and down. Back and forth. Hmm. Well, things have been unbalanced. Things have been turned upside down. Karma has came into play. Karma has hit somebody. Yep, yeah, it certainly has. Absolutely. Six of Cups. Somebody from the past. Memories of the past. Past connection, perhaps. A lot of memories of the past are on the table here now. I mean, uh, reminiscing. Somebody could be wanting forgiveness. Oh. Ace of Pentacles. We have a golden opportunity. Somebody has manifested something big, a new, a reward. Oh, it's a gift. A new opportunity. A new, stable, solid opportunity is coming. Something new. Something big. Somebody has manifested something big. 
We got this 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 guy looking over here though. We got a fox. A fox is sneaky, you know, very sneaky, sly, shady. Hmm. Ooh, four of cups. Oh goodness gracious, we got somebody here that is contemplating what to do. What do I want? What does my heart want? Could be dealing with a cancer, just saying. Could be dealing with anybody, but we have an offer of love here. There's love. There is love to be had. That's a big cup right there. So this guy, you know, he may be holding on to somebody that doesn't serve him while he loves somebody else. Oh, imagine that shit. Imagine that. And there's unfinished business. This guy is holding on to this. He don't want this one. He's not even looking at it, okay? He doesn't really want it. He doesn't. He wants the other one that's not in his hands. The one that got away. That's the one he wants. Whew. Well, yikes. Somebody <laughs> it hasn't been telling the truth. And it's caused them some bad luck. Some upheaval and karma acts in <laughs> mysterious ways. And maybe it's not karma. Okay, I got somebody telling me shit about karma, but whatever. Whatever. You reap what you sow, put it that way. I think we have somebody that is looking at somebody else. Perhaps that they, you know misjudged or they lied to Ooh, ace of wands something's gone south the fire had been put out Ooh, page of cups message of love a welcome somebody wants to communicate how they how they feel but they're reluctant to put in any effort or they're not putting in any effort they're not working hard enough or oh i don't know Seven of Wands reversed. They're trying to protect themselves. We have somebody here that is, um, it's almost like they're fearful. They're scared of the um, fight, you know what I mean? What could happen? What could happen? Justice. If we ain't dealing with karma, I don't know what we are dealing with here. Karma, karma. Karma. So yeah, we got some karma. Ooh! I gotta show you. The overall energy is death. Endings and new beginnings. Death and rebirth. Resurrection. Resurrection. Reconciliation, perhaps. <laughs> I just gotta focus this in. So yeah, we have an ending here. That's the overall energy. Something is coming to an end. You know what it is? A lie. Somebody has been living a lie. And it's like their whole life, their whole their whole uh, situation has gone south. It's gone downhill. Because they haven't been following their heart. But anyway, we have a welcome message of love because somebody, it's like somebody has woken up. Somebody's woken up. They've had some sort of epiphany, some sort of awakening. They've received some sort of message or some sort of go ahead. And it's time, it's time, it's time. It's time to be honest. It's time to act with integrity. It's time to tell the truth. Somebody is seeking balance. Things have been upside down and things have been unbalanced and things have been crazy for so long. It's like, I just want peace. I just want peace. Peace, peace, peace. So it looks like we have somebody here that is this guy is making a final decision. He's in the process of deciding. He's making his verdict. He's it's time. It's time for the final verdict, right? 
It is. Time for the final verdict. Time to tell the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So, we got somebody here that is going through a transformation. That's what we got. A transformation. Change. Big change. You know. Maybe they've learned a karmic lesson. Anyhow, let's get some more cards. We're going to use a different deck. What are we going to do here? Where's the deck I was going to use? I got... Here we go. Alright, so we got somebody here that is... You know, with that Ace of Wands reversed, I feel like... Something did not materialize or it didn't grow or the passion just wasn't there in a situation. You know, they lost. It just wasn't real. It wasn't real. It, it wasn't. So. <sighs> but now somebody is just wanting to be happy. It's like, I don't want this conflict. I don't want any. I don't want to compete anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want to let go of this tension. They're looking for relief. We got somebody here that just wants peace. Patience was needed. I think somebody needed, and this is a lesson learned, upright. Somebody needed to learn some sort of lesson. And that's the truth. I think somebody has. Learned a lesson. I do. Mm. Removing obstacles. Obstacles that have held somebody back, kept somebody stuck from being happy. Somebody's been living a lie, wearing a blindfold, wearing a mask. But this is taking that mask off. Letting your guard down and be in opening your eyes. So I think we got somebody here is about to open their eyes, or they have opened their eyes. They've seen the light. You know, they've seen the light, obviously. After not being awake, they're about to wake up. Somebody's about to have a freaking wake up call. Somebody's ready to let go of that emptiness. That's what we got here. They've lived in a state of emptiness thinking about somebody else. And that is no joke. Holding on to somebody that they don't love thinking about somebody else nine of swords reverse somebody's been giving deep 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 thought to a relationship and their gut is telling them that they have to do the right thing, that they have to, they have to release to let all this mental anguish go out the window. They have to listen to their gut. We got somebody here that is stressing beyond words. Stressing. There's regrets. Major, major, major regrets. Major regrets for not putting in effort. For not seeing the opportunity. For not accepting the gift. For not seeing the gift. We got somebody here that's thinking about the past like you would not believe. Somebody from their past, and that is no joke. Or have we got a past life connection? Because that is the past or a past life connection. And it's really, it's just about killing them. major regrets but this is a this is a new opportunity this is this is an opportunity golden opportunity to fight for something this is a golden opportunity to fight for balance for justice to get what you deserve so here we have an opportunity to fight for this guy is thinking about fighting for something Mm. Ace of Swords reversed. There's there's uh, dishonesty, lack of clarity, no communication, miscommunication. Four of Swords, mentally exhausted. Like I said, we got somebody that is stressing beyond words. Beyond words is the that's it right there. 
beyond words. Can't even speak. We got somebody. He can't, This guy can't speak. Oh my God. Wow. It's just about killing him. I mean, I, I, it is, seriously. Stressing about communicating. Really bad. Like, mentally, like, mentally, like, exhausted. Like, totally regrets, feels guilty. Oh, Nine of Cups. You know, this is, this is wish fulfillment. This, this was this person, this, this was an opportunity to have it all. And this person just wants peace, wants to have it all, wants their happiness back. Wants their abundance, wants, wants their wish fulfillment. I think we have somebody here that is, and it's going right here, is feeling guilty. Whatever. For letting somebody get away. And I don't know what that means, but we have Nine of Cups. This is this is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. This is a golden opportunity, and that could be a reconciliation. Typically, it definitely can be with forgiveness. Forgiveness is very dominant here. Forgiveness is needed. So, Nine of Cups. Happiness. I just want my happiness back. I just want to be happy. Yeah, we got somebody here that I think is wishing for a new beginning after something has ended. Is there going to be any communication? That is the question now. Is this guy going to find his strength in his integrity? To speak up, to speak the truth. Or is this person going to continue to drive themselves crazy and lose sleep at night? And beat themselves up and go downhill and feel constant tension? And let this situation die. <gasps> oh, this guy doesn't know what to do. This person is, so, he has, what's happened is now there's two, two options. There's two people. There's two people. Okay. That's what the problem is. Somebody is going to get hurt. This is a stressful, difficult decision. There's divided loyalty. Somebody is absolutely 100% stressing about choosing. Reluctant, not, and we got somebody here that just can't put themselves in the driver's seat. This is somebody who is weak, somebody that doesn't have mental strength, somebody that can't master their emotions, somebody who's letting fear, fear of the unknown. But, anyway, is there going to be communication? Well, I don't know. We got some, this is blocked. This is blocked. Maybe they've been blocked. Maybe they can't communicate because they've been blocked. Oh, well, that could be the case. Maybe that's just an excuse. You know, they could get in their vehicle. It's like they won't get in their vehicle. Who knows? They're not getting in their vehicle. They've been blocked. Hmm. Oh, this is what I knew was going to happen. This was the card I was looking for. Thank you, Lord. This is I got to win at all costs. This is a power struggle. Absolutely here. We got this man that loves somebody, this man or whoever it is, loves somebody else but won't communicate because he has to win. He won't go to any extremes. He won't. He won't. Interesting. Or he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. You know, he wouldn't anyway. 
I gotta win. This is, I gotta prove a point. So yeah, we got somebody here that is withholding. Still trying to prove a point. But wants his wish fulfillment back. But he'd have to, he'd have to, uh, lay down the rest, lay down the rest. Lay the past to rest. And take that one and communicate. <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow, we have we have somebody here that is receiving some sort of awakening, some sort of epiphany, some sort of judgment, some sort of, you know, uh, message. Or they have received a message. Perhaps that it's time to do the right thing. We have an ending and we have a new beginning here because something is ending. <sighs> what is this guy going to do or this person? He wants to win. That's for damn sure. That is for damn sure. He or she. We got somebody here who <laughs> will not give in. Will not give in and it's causing themselves more stress than anybody else. It's hurting them more than anybody else. The other people are just, you know, they're going to move on. Yeah, they are too. Absolutely. Victory and success. Finding the confidence. What's this right here? Recognizing. This is a hero. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. This guy might decide to, you know, be a hero. He might decide to fight for what he wants. Like I said, this is the fighter. This is the hero. This is the leader. We got somebody here that may have been stubborn trying to win and something. And now somebody's got away and they don't want to let it get away. And they're going to have to get in their vehicle by the looks of things. And they might, because there's that wheel and it is in motion. It's not in motion, and here it is. So somebody may get behind the wheel. They may change their mind. They may change their direction. This is destiny. It's fated. It's meant to be. It is a destined change of direction. Some One chapter is coming to an end. A new one is beginning. We have a major completion here. Uh, this is this is a change, change, change in direction. And whatever is happening is happening for the better. Okay, this is good luck. This is something good coming in. So I see, I mean, this day looks to me as though somebody is going to make a final decision and change their destiny. They are. They're going to change it. They're going to change it. They're going to take that step that they were afraid to take. So I don't know who this is for. Good luck.